Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Lavish Roblox. Today I'll be covering the top 10 weird Roblox game modes. Let's get into the video. Number 10, Survival the Peppa Pig. Survival the Peppa Pig by REG Games. This is quite a simple game in that players simply have to not get killed by the villain of the piece. The villain in this case is Peppa Pig, and she's not happy about something. Armed with a knife, her sole aim is to stab everyone to death. If that was weird enough, her constant squealing is very unnerving and makes this a somewhat uncomfortable experience. The game is buggy as hell, but it's playable enough though. I wouldn't drop any Robux on any items until the game is cleaned up. Tree house. Is she coming up? She's coming back down. Is that played by a person? I'm like scared. I have 41 seconds alive. I kind of want to see though. Are they? Number nine, human giraffe. Number nine, Human Giraffe. Human Giraffe by Ardite. Human Giraffe is what would happen if a physics experiment, a giraffe enclosure, and a hot dog factory collided and fused together. There is no real point to the game other than to muck about in the very buggy world, seeing how your rather phallic looking long neck responds to a variety of spinny things. We have a giant neck. Get the wiener dogs. I got a wiener dog. I got a wiener <laughs> Number eight, Terror in Bikini Bottom. Terror in Bikini Bottom is a game created by Bobby Say Hi. In this game, you can choose to go to different points in Bikini Bottom to fight zombies that spawn and follow you, giving damage when touched. To fight off the zombies, you are given a gun, but you may upgrade to different more powerful guns with points that you get for each kill. As of December 12, 2019, the game has 352,685 favorites, 82,506 thumbs up, and 14,021 thumbs down. The game is still being actively updated and played by a steady amount of players. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use the M16. Oh yeah. So let's go in the orange one. Number seven, Dancing Parrots. Dancing Parrots is more of an experience than a game you can actually play. Ladies and gents, let me introduce you to Dancing Parrots by Rattlecore. I say this isn't a game as once launched you can't do anything other than sit back, listen, and watch the parrots dance. Yep, that's it. The music is very catchy though, and as well worth checking out. Number 6, Where's the Baby? Where's the Baby is a comedy game created by Smelly Super Fart. There are two teams, parents and babies. There are five game modes for each map, sometimes being an exclusive one. In mischief, players are split into teams. The parents' goal is to prevent the babies from killing themselves under the set amount of time. All every baby needs to do any means to kill themselves before time's up. If all babies were killed, the babies win. If not, the parents win. He wants to kill me! What? You stop that! You stop that! Wait, what is this? What the? Am I holding that? Wait, what? Equip candle as- Number 5, Egg Testing. This game is for those of you who dream of playing a game as a drunk egg with a fetish for bizarre hats. If that sounds like you, then you should check out the Egg Testing by Nimbles. The premise seems to be to collect coins to buy new decorations for your egg character whilst exploring the rather nice landscape. What strikes me as odd is the drunken way your egg walks and the fact that, well, you play as an egg. Number 4, Survive Elmo. For all the Sesame Street fans out there, Survive Elmo by Patrick Super 10. In Survive Elmo, your aim is to not be killed by Elmo, who is seriously miffed. Going by the in-game music, Elmo is pissed because he's lost his goldfish and his crayon and he wants your blood. With a vast array of weapons at your disposal, you can have fun blowing the various Elmos to smithereens. Number 3, Broken Bones. Broken Bones is a game created by a user called Zaquil. The game is a predecessor to Broken Bones 2. It reached a total of 5 million plays before shutting down on December 23rd, 2018. Players must fall downwards in various scenarios, including stairways, spaces, slopes, and various states of the United States of America, including Illinois, Texas, New York, and Florida, with the objective of breaking the most bones possible. Breaking one's bones would give the player points to purchase items and stages with, allowing the users to potentially break more bones. Number 2, Ripple Minigames. Ripple Minigames is a popular minigame collection by Ripple, loosely based on its previous creation, Pirate Minigames. As of March 30th, 2019, it currently has over 211 million place visits and 1.6 million favorites with a largely positive like to dislike ratio. There are multiple mini games that can be played and voted on in Ripple Games, all with different gameplay. Number 1, Freeze Tag. Freeze Tag is a popular place created by Tushu. Because the creator is banned, the game won't be updated. However, the game is still quite popular on Roblox, having over 10 million place visits and over 270,000 favorites. This game had updated on 2017, fixed by some Roblox developers, and converted it to filtering enabled. 
first the round randomly chooses three people as taggers and all the people as non-taggers. If the player is a tagger, then the freezing helmet will be given. If the player touches a player, they'll appear frozen, unable to move. If frozen players request help for non-frozen players. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.